Hi friends, it is March 30th and I thought I would just kind of do a week in the life um, vlog and I will upload this on Friday. Um, so it won't be exactly a week, but you know what I mean. Um, and this will kind of be my birthday vlog because my birthday is on Thursday, April 2nd. And it's going to be a bit of a strange birthday. <laughs> um, I was planning on ordering my gift or having Scott. It doesn't matter at this point. I mean, I'm an adult. I don't need surprises, but I was going to order my gift online on Amazon, but with everything that's going on, I'm gonna have to wait on that. Also, um, yeah, we are quarantined at home. <laughs> Quarantine's not quite the right, right word because nobody is sick. Um, our state has just issued a um, stay home order unless your job is essential. And you have to leave for essential things like grocery shopping, doctor visits, that kind of thing. I'm sure it's that way for a lot of people right now. I decided to sit down because my arm was just going to get too tired <laughs> holding it up um, like that because I wanted to chat a little bit. But anyway, um, my work, my job is not considered essential. So I have not worked since two weeks ago. I didn't work at all last week, but I worked my normal hours the week before that. Um, I am trying to pick up a few hours by working online, trying to do all the Facebook posts for the store's Facebook page, um, and then also doing a few little mini videos for the Facebook page, just talking about some of the product that we have in the store. Um, the store is still um, offering online shopping, so um, yeah. If you're in the area or if you're not in the area, you can go to newkitchenstore.com and kind of check out what we have. Uh, she does not have everything in the store on the website, but um, she does have quite a few things on there. Um, so anyway, yeah, I've been doing that. Last week was so challenging for us because our internet was not working. It stopped working last Monday. It's a long story and I don't really even understand what happened because I am not a techno geek <laughs> at all I'm just like turn the button on it should work and if it doesn't work I don't know what to do about it but anyway it was a long complicated thing that reason why we lost our internet had nothing to do with us it had to do with the company that we were um, getting our internet through and we had switched companies because we live out in the middle of nowhere and our options are very limited and the, the service that we had prior was through our phone company and it was terrible. Um, the, it was just, it was very slow. For what we paid for it, you know, for the internet service, it was very slow. So Scott was trying to find a better option. So he switched us over to this other company and come to find out this company, it just didn't work out and just suddenly we lost our, our uh, internet with them. So then Scott tried to get back with our phone company, our other service, and after even though we'd been with them for nine years, suddenly they said they cannot offer us service. Um, what Scott thinks happened is because of the um, thing that's going on in the world right now, a lot of people are spending more time on the internet, and so their, their services just couldn't handle it. So, Anyway, we waited all the way till Friday because they had said that they would connect our service back by Friday. Friday evening comes and our service isn't, still isn't back, so Scott calls them and then that's when they say, oh, well, you can't get service where you're at. And oh, it was horrible. Scott was very upset. So anyway, We've got another company, we've got another internet provider right now, it's through T-Mobile. It's more expensive, but we had to do what we had to do. And Scott is still looking into getting some other kind of system or, or internet out here, whether it be satellite or whatever, I don't know. I don't, really, I don't really care about that, I just am glad we have our internet back. 
Um, he had bought me a like two gigabyte little card thing that he connected to my computer only so that I could at least upload my YouTube videos last week and do my work at, from home for Facebook for my for the store where I work and um, so yeah that's why I couldn't watch any videos I was having severe YouTube withdrawal not being able to watch any YouTube videos and um, I couldn't you know spend any extra megabytes on answering comments or anything so if some of your comments from last week never get responded to that's why it's because it's just been it's just really hard to get caught back up on answering comments when you've not done it for a week but anyway as of today this minute internet is working and everything's back to normal in that respect um, Scott and Travis's jobs are both consider considered essential services so they are still working which is nice um, other than that other than that my life really isn't much different because I was pretty much a homebody anyway and um, we didn't go <laughs> we didn't go out to eat a lot we didn't go to the movies a lot or any of that kind of thing um, I would have to say the worst thing that we had to deal with last week was the no internet thing because that's where I get all my social interaction from is from you guys <laughs> and I couldn't watch videos I could you know I just already went through all that but yeah anyway I think today I'm just going to do a little bit of a clean with me portion of the video. I don't know if I'll video tomorrow. I don't I don't know. I'm just going to do little clips here and there throughout the week and then I will upload this video on Friday. I got a package the other day from my friend Carolyn in Australia and she sent me a little birthday gift this is one of the items that was in there it's called a stretch dachshund and I think it's for like um, I don't know like uh, anxiety or whatever or just for fun you can squeeze it and stretch it and squish it and reshape it and it's it's fun it's really cute and then she sent me some chocolates, dark chocolates. This, they, we've already, you know, broken into the chop to the candy. This is um, apricots covered in dark chocolate, and they are delicious. And then she sent me these, and I love these. Now Olivia didn't care for them because she doesn't like ginger, but that's okay because I loved them. They're just big chunks of um, ginger, crystallized ginger covered in dark chocolate and they are so good and then the last thing she sent me and I'll show you this the next time I have a hot beverage but it's a mug that is color changing when, with heat heat changing mug and I ran it under hot water when I first got it to see what it does and I'm not going to tell you I'll make you wait but it's really cool so those are the things that my friend Carolyn sent me along with this really cute card. So I just wanted to tell Carolyn, thank you so much. I loved it. And um, I really appreciate your friendship. And I appreciate that you took the time to send me something for my birthday.
next day, next morning, Tuesday, the 30th, I think, or 31st, 31st. And this is the mug that Carolyn sent me for my birthday. And like I said, it was a heat changing, color changing mug. So I've got my coffee here. I'm gonna pour it in and show you what it does. Gotta leave room for my creamer. <laughs> You see what it's doing? It's turning white and it's showing the names of the butterflies. Isn't that cool? And it's nice because it'll also tell you if your coffee is getting, or your hot beverage, if it's getting um, cold. butterflies on both sides. Thanks again Carolyn, this is really cool. I bought this book over a year ago I guess and I've looked through it and read through parts of it that apply to my house. You know I don't have small children so that chapter doesn't really apply. But it's talking about how to um, organize your house and decorate it and make it you know functional. And I am just so in the mood to rearrange my furniture, but there's just, there's just no way. There's no other way to have my furniture <laughs> in this living room. I'd like to move that cozy corner somewhere else, but yeah, there's just, there's just absolutely nowhere else in my whole family room or living room to move it. So what I'll probably do instead today is deep clean some stuff. Um, underneath the corner cabinet in my dining room, the floor underneath of it never gets, well I shouldn't say never, rarely gets um, swept and mopped because that cabinet is fastened to the wall to keep it from falling over and so I can't move it out to clean under it so I have to get down on my belly <laughs> to clean under it and I think um, you can't really see it from here but my plant stand right there um, I think I'll probably take everything off of it wash the shelves dust everything and um, sweep and mop under it as well so that's kind of my goal for today and yeah I might make a loaf of bread too. I need to go down in the refrigerator downstairs and see how much bread we actually have. Because if we have bread that needs to be used, I don't want to bake bread. Because of course the family will eat the homemade bread much faster than the store-bought stuff. But yeah, I'm feeling a little bit stir-crazy, I don't know. <laughs> it's really weird because Ordinarily, I'll let you look at Sal. I have not had a shower or done anything with my hair, so I am not putting the camera on me. <laughs> but um, ordinarily, I don't have a tr have trouble being home. I don't feel stir crazy usually. And of course, she's leaving now, but but now I do. I guess it's because I know that I'm not going anywhere. Like before, I I knew I'd have to spend Monday and Tuesday doing errands and cleaning the house because I had to go to work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Well, now that I'm not working, and it doesn't look like I will be working anytime soon, um, I got lots of time on my hands. <laughs> All right, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and eat my breakfast and get going with this day. And I don't know if you can see the clock. Another bad thing that's happening because of this uh, stay in place order. Look at the time. 11.20. Now granted, I have been outside, done my outside chores, and I've been downstairs and answered emails and sent some messages uh, to people. But, yeah. I am staying up super late at night 
and then I'm sleeping way later than I normally do in the morning. It's a bad habit. I've got to break that because eventually I will be going back to work. And I can't be sleeping this late because if this was a work day, I'd be at work right now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get my breakfast eaten and then get a shower. Hi, hey friends. I got ready. <laughs> It's still Tuesday the 31st. Um, I had to film a little um, clip for a video I'm working on for my work. On our Facebook page, I've been doing uh, videos a couple of times a week talking about some of the items that we're selling and I needed to do a little clip for that. So I thought, well, I might as well just go ahead and put full makeup on and do my hair and film that video right now. <laughs> So anyway, I've really been thinking a lot about trying to rearrange the house a little bit, make it look a little bit less cluttered, change the look of my environment. Um, I like to change furniture around anyway, and right now I'm really in the mood to do that. So, um, but first I'm going to work here in the dining room. Um, like I told you before, I'm going to clean off my plant stand and clean out from under it and then see what I can do to rearrange some furniture. So come on, let's rearrange. And of course, anytime I work on this side of the house, the, the footage is not gonna be the greatest because of all the light that comes through our patio door. But I hope you can kind of get the gist of what I'm doing anyway. <laughs> better. I didn't clean the top shelf because I had cleaned that off just a couple weeks ago so it didn't need it. Um, yeah everything looks so much better. I moved that plant that was sitting there onto the plant stand. All that debris that I was sweeping up was from mainly from that succulent right there. It sheds terribly. I gave it a real a uh, severe haircut <laughs> so maybe it will keep all that debris from dropping so much so what I think I'm going to do now I'm going to let this floor dry a little bit because I mopped it with those um, with that wipe oh I'm out of breath um, I'm going to move this plant stand and these two plants in front of the patio door we don't go out the patio door hardly ever, so it's not a big deal if we block it. So that's gonna be the next thing I do, but I'm gonna wait until the floor dries uh, before I do that. And I'm also going to pull all the dead leaves off of these and water them real good once I get them moved over.
biggest contribution to this um, stay at home order is um, her goal is to make us as fat as possible. So she <laughs> keeps baking. Oh, she made these yummy no bakes yesterday. But thankfully she did use stevia in them. So even though they've got a lot of butter and peanut butter, at least the sugar is very reduced. But I'm gonna do my part and I'm gonna eat one of these. I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna eat one of these cookies, have a little lunch, and then we'll get back to work. So I have those plants moved and now I'm going to move this table over here. I don't know if it's gonna be directly in front of the window or more to the side, probably more to the side. And I'm gonna kind of redo this. I know I just did a video on putting this uh, corner thing together, but I have a lot of time on my hands <laughs> and I feel like changing it. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's Thursday, April 2nd, and it's my birthday. <laughs> Thought I'd take you out and show you the animals while I do my chores this morning. injury. She hadn't been acting sick. And I think, I think they're, they're six years old now. The khakis are. The pecans are about, are a little bit older, I think. Hey, ladies. There's some more of my chickies. One must be inside laying an egg. And we got four. I've only got six hens now. Well, seven if you count Jenny. Which I do because she's a hen. But yeah, the ducky population is going down. And we um, prefer ducks. In fact, when all my chickens are gone, I'm not going to have any more. Other than my free rangers. I'm not going to have any more pinned up. 
Um, family enjoys duck eggs more than chicken eggs, and I like ducks better than chickens. And so I was uh, asking on one of my Facebook pages that I follow about finding a place that sells ducklings where they they sex them so that I could just order hens. I don't want any more drakes. And I don't want any more pecans, which are the white ones. They're too heavy. Their bodies are too heavy and um, they wind up getting lame. They have lots of legs, leg and hip issues and I don't, I'm just tired of that problem. In fact, I've got two ducks in, uh, in the isolation now because their hips and their something's going on with them and they can, are lame. They can't hardly walk. And they don't get better from it. I just isolate them so that the drakes will leave them alone. So, um, I don't, don't have that trouble with the lighter weight ducks. So I'm only going with lightweight ducks from now on. But anyway, someone on that Facebook page told me a place, I think it's in Ohio, that sell sexed ducklings. Now right now is probably not the best time in the world to be uh, undergoing any kind of a project like that. So I may wait till summer and do it, or I may wait till next spring. But I think I do want to raise more ducklings. I want to pay probably eight or nine more hens. So I'm thinking about getting three of uh, three different kinds, three different breeds. I'm thinking about maybe getting some runner ducks. Those are the ones that stand up tall. Um, they're just interesting to me. And then maybe some Cayuga. They are black. Well, they're kind of iridescent and blackish, greenish, bluish color. And then the third, oh, I can't remember. I can't remember the third breed I was thinking about getting, but they're another lightweight duck. Or I think maybe medium weight. But yeah, anyway, that's what I'm planning, I think. And we're also talking about getting a puppy. I'd really like another doxy puppy, but purebred dogs are so expensive. So unless we find somebody giving them away for free or, you know, some show up at a shelter somewhere, we probably will not get another full blood doxy. Um, but we do want a smaller dog, so one that'll fit through our doggy door. We're not opposed to getting a medium sized dog because Scott said he could change the doggy door and um, put a bigger one in that spot. So we'll see. But I definitely want a puppy. Hi, Jenny girl. Hi, Jenny girl. Here's the greenhouse. Um, all these weeds grew and they stayed all winter. But I am going to get out here. I might have Olivia help me. Um, not today, but one day, probably next week. And get all of this weeded out. And back there, I don't know if you can see it, there's some lettuce still growing. So I'll leave that. And over in that area, I planted carrots. And I don't know if there's any growing up underneath all these weeds. But I'm going to weed this all out. Oh, look, I think I can see some spinach in there. And I'm going to get some um, seeds planted out here for a spring harvest. And I'm going to get the watering system hooked back up because I don't think we're going to have any more really cold nights. I mean, I might be wrong, but yeah, I do believe, I do believe that is spinach right there. Oh, that was awesome. I planted that last fall and then I gave up on it because it wasn't warm enough for the plants to actually germinate. But it must have it stayed warm enough in here for the seeds to not die and now they're germinating. That is so cool. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get out here. 
Maybe today. I got a lot to do today, though. But tomorrow, maybe. Get this weeded. That's exciting. That's our little Dutch rabbit. He's very shy. And if I get when I get closer, he'll run back into his box. But I thought I'd try to get a picture of him for you from a little bit farther away. <laughs> I don't think you guys have ever seen him before. We just call him Dutchy. Hi, bunny, bunny. Yep, there he goes. You're peeking your head out. Get you some water. And I'll get you some food. Let's get the other bunny some water first. Hey, bunny, bunny, bunny. Hey, bunny, bunny. Your water bowl's empty. This one drinks a lot of water. Of course, it's a bigger rabbit, but she, I think it's, well, we don't know if it's a he or a she, honestly. Um, we're thinking she, but, uh, um, yeah, she drinks a lot of wa water. And you were thirsty, too. Honestly, I take care of them every day. I filled her water up yesterday. You'd think I didn't, but I did. There you go, babe. She could use a little more food, too. So I'm going to get their food. Go in the house and get myself some breakfast. I wanted to show you this new addition. Um, the other day, when I rearranged this furniture, um, I think that was in the last clip that I shared, um, I had these two little tables downstairs on either side of the couch in the family room, and they weren't really being utilized. They were just there, and they were gathering dust. <laughs> And anytime anybody needs to sit in this love seat, the biggest complaint was we don't have anywhere to put our drink. And so I brought one of the chair, I had one of the tables up here already because I had a plant sitting on it. And when I rearranged the plant stand, I was able to empty that off. And so I thought, well, I'll, I'll put it either on this side of the love seat or that side. And Scott got home from work, and I said, which side do you think I should put it on? And we were talking about it, and he said, well, really, it should go in front. And these are just short, you know, small little square tables. And one in front didn't look right. I just didn't like the way it looked. So I went down and got the other one, brought it up, put them close together, put this little cloth on here, and kind of decorated it up, because you know I can't do anything without decorating it up and it looks like a little coffee table. I really like the way that it looks and when the world gets back to normal and we can start going garage sailing again, Scott and I are going to look for a narrow coffee table. We want a small narrow coffee table, maybe a little bit longer than this but not or but not any wider, because I really won't like the narrow one. We don't have a very big space here. And so, yeah. And Scott was saying yesterday that this is what this room has been missing all these years. <laughs> it's a coffee table. And he's right, I, I like it. I really like it, and I think it turned out super cute. These two plants I got at Walmart this little critter, oh, I can't remember where I got him. I think Walmart as well. And then this tray I got from work. But yeah, turned out super cute. If you recall in my last grocery haul, I had purchased this teapot for myself for my birthday. And I decided to wait until my actual birthday to open the box up and get it set up. Now this teapot still works, so I'm not gonna throw it away. I'll just keep it as an extra. Maybe if we ever start going camping again, we can use it in the camp if we buy a camper. We don't even have a camper, but I can save it downstairs for whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up. Now I did order my main birthday present, 
and it's supposed to come by the 7th. I will insert a picture of what I ordered here. So yeah, I'm really excited about getting that vanity table. I've always wanted one and um, finally getting it after all these years. I wanted one since I was a teenager. And of course, when I uh, set that up and Scott will have to build it and put it together, you know, and all that jazz, I will uh, show you. I'll do a video on it. <clears throat> Hopefully it'll be part of VEDA. So let me get this unboxed and set up and I'll show you what it looks like. So there it is. It's so pretty. And see, it's got a base. My other teapot didn't have a base. You had It was always like stuck to the, you know, connected to the outlet. And this one comes off the heating base, which is really, really nice. It is an absolute glorious day out today. It's perfect. The sun is shining. It's nice. Um, mellow moderate temperatures and so we are going to break quarantine a little bit we got I've got to go to the feed store and get some feed for the chickens and then we're gonna go over and visit my mom at the cemetery and go for a little walk and we're taking we're taking this girl with us she hates car rides but she loves going for walks been, in May 1st it'll be four years and it's still obvious the grass isn't very grown in in this spot. Now, well, let's go for a walk. Take this little girl for a walk. We'll come back on Mom's birthday because her birthday falls on Mother's Day this year and uh, decorate her grave up. My dad always takes everything off of it for the winter and then we come back and put stuff on it usually in May. Sally! What's it doing, girly? Wow. I think they need to put some more uh, asphalt in there. Sure do go fast. <laughs> Thanks, Mom, for giving me birth today. Sure do miss you. Well, look what came on my birthday. It's my vanity. <laughs> in uh, styrofoam dust but I'm gonna clean it up and set it up not today but uh, in the next day or two and I will do a separate video on getting this all set up in my bedroom Olivia made homemade pizza for my dinner tonight and it was absolutely delicious this is our dairy-free one that we always, she always makes for us and then I made some coconut cream pies earlier in the day. I will have a separate video for that. And oh my goodness, it was delicious. Um, over the last couple of days, I have received four of these boxes from my friend Kathy in California. You know who you are. And she said they were for my birthday. And 
as it, we would have it. The last of the boxes came today on my actual birthday. So I'm going to open it up and see what's in it. All I know is that it is Pioneer Woman. Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh it's that jade looking dishes and there's it's got to be a set of four it's a plate and a salad plate and a little bowl oh those are so gorgeous I'm gonna go ahead and open up the other four boxes and then I'll come back and I'll show you what was in them but I'm pretty sure it was probably a set of four dishes since there's four of us so there they are. It is a set of four. They are so pretty. Absolutely love them. I was admiring this jade colored um, Pioneer Woman dishes the other day. Oh, well, maybe about a month or so ago now. They are so gorgeous. Thank you, Kathy. I love them. Absolutely love them. And they will be used for sure once they're I'm gonna run them through the dishwasher and then I'm gonna take some of my uh, everyday plates that I use all the time out and we're gonna start using these dishes they're gorgeous thank you so so much and with that I am going to go ahead and close out this vlog for the last few days. Thank you so much for spending my birthday week. It wasn't really a full week, but my birthday and a couple of days leading up to my birthday with me. Um, it's been a really, really nice birthday. The weather cooperated and I had some really lovely gifts and I can't believe everything got here actually on my birthday. So it worked out great. Thanks so much for watching, friends, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.